20 Geographical Proofs That the Earth is an Extended Plane by Ebenezer Breach 1. It is usually stated as a most convincing proof that the Earth is a globe, that the incoming and outward-bound ship is a standing proof, but that is a mere optical illusion. We have seen the very opposite occur on a calm sea and clear atmosphere. The dark hull will appear first because the masts are light color. The laws of optics and of perspective explain very much when rightly understood and applied to the phenomena around us. No ship can alter the universal law of the equilibrium of fluids. Everything is measured as above the level of the sea. As every calm sea is a true level, it cannot be globular. Where is the rotundity? 2. Because geographers are constantly obliged to admit the fact. Thus Anstead in his geography says, quote, The surface of the earth little more than one-fourth part rises above the uniform level of the water, and forms the land. It is irregular in its form and extensive, both horizontal and vertical. Anstead's maps are all drawn according to Mercator's plans, which treats the earth as a plane, lines drawn at right angles straight through. Mercator's is the plan for all navigable charts. Whitehall is so utterly inconsistent as to teach the globe and practice the plane. No rotundity. 3. Because Professor Dennison, writing on astronomy without mathematics, states that, quote, Although the ecliptic is drawn on the terrestrial globe, it has no meaning there. Then why is it placed there? As though the earth and all upon it were rushing through the sun's path at 66,000 miles an hour to catch day and night out of the sun? As the zodiac appertains to astronomy, it belongs only to the celestial sphere. 4. Because Keith himself states the pampas of South America form a bare horizontal surface of nearly 1,000 miles from the Atlantic to the Andes. 5. Also in the same note, page 415, the Llanos of the Orinoco form a plain of grass twice as large as France. 250,000 square miles are as flat as the surface of the sea. So here is an acknowledgment that three-fourths of the earth is flat, besides the 250,000 square miles of land. Where is the globe, then? 6. To these may be added the vast prairies of North America, a bit of strait which occupy the level space between the Mississippi and the Rocky Mountains, no rotundity. 7. Because in Sullivan's and other geographies we read, quote, a table land or plateau is a plain or tract of flat land elevated considerably above the level of the sea. He states that Ireland may be said to be a level country, surface much diversified even where it is quite flat, no rotundity. 8. Asia is particularly remarkable for the number and extent of its table or flat lands. In fact, it includes almost the whole of the central part of this great continent. Where is globularity, then? 9. Almost the whole of Tibet, the vast desert of Gobi, and the greater part of Mongolia are table or flatlands. No rotundity. 10. Every continent has plains that are hundreds of miles in extent, therefore no globularity no allowing eight inches to the mile, which is prohibited in Britain by Act No. 6, House of Lords. 11. The north and northeast of the European continent consists with few interruptions of an immense plain. No rotundity. 12. In Hindustan, Afghanistan, Persia, Armenia, Arabia, and Asia Minor, there are also extensive table or flat lands, the whole of Central Asia is a plateau, no rotundity. 13. In the interior of Africa there are also extensive tablelands, but their elevation is not remarkable, no rotundity. 14. The Sahara or Great Desert is a table or flatland. The trade winds also forbid the atmosphere revolving with the earth, as they could not blow and prevail six months one way and six months the other if the whole constantly revolved one way only. No rotundity. 15. 
there is the table-land of Abyssinia, as another proof that the earth is not a globe. We read of the plain of Dura in Babylon. Where would the great image have been if the plain revolved eleven hundred miles per minute? 16. There are also those in Spain, Bavaria, and in the south of Norway. No rotundity. 17. There are also those that comprise the Netherlands, Denmark, northern Germany, and almost all European Russia. No rotundity. 18. The level expanse of sands that are on view in immense deserts prove unmistakably that the earth is not in revolution. The tides also forbid it, as they could not gradually undulate six hours one way, six hours the other, with the ocean going one way only. 19. The equator of the earth, which corresponds with the celestial equator, is a complete circle midway between the north center and south circumference, so there are no hemispheres, as represented on maps. No rotundity. 20. The earth is entirely separated and detached from the heavens, and in the laws that control the earth and the celestial bodies there is no affinity whatever. The different layers or beds of which the earth is composed all lie horizontally, one over the other, like the leaves of a book. So no curvatures, and no rotundity.